Okay, so we're at the end of the incision now, and we've just sewn past the final edge of the incision. So now what we're going to think about is how do we build a deep loop and a deep leg to tie to. So since this is the Limbert pattern and we know we've gone on our left side deep to superficial, that's a superficial bite and we cannot use that. So we'll take one more bite on the right side or the dominant side, superficial to deep. Because you always want to get back deep to start your loop. Great. Do I come out the incision? Mm -hmm. Well, not out the incision, but yes, out your the deep spot, kind of where that red line would be. Okay. Okay, I'll edit out any. Make it look like you did it really fast. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Okay, so that's a superficial to deep bite. So that can be pulled and get rid of the loop that you see. And we're going to start our next loop. So sometimes when you're in surgery, it helps right now to say, I'm building a deep loop so that everybody kind of knows what, what the plan is. So we're going to pull that tight. And then now would be a great point to hand that suture that's coming right out of the suture site to your assistant and say, just kind of hang on to this right here because this is my deep loop. Don't let it go. If you're by yourself, you can just keep it in your pinky, but that's a great point to help use as a check so you don't drop it. So that's the beginning of your deep loop. You went superficial to deep on the dominant hand side. So the next step is deep to superficial on the non-dominant hand side. So thinking about those lines still following the red to black, Now what you have right now is a deep loop. So you're gonna keep that up, um, not a ton, but enough to tie off to, and that's your deep loop. Now the, the piece of suture with the needle on it is back to being superficial, because it's coming out that deep to superficial bite. So you wanna take one more bite, going from superficial to deep. And again, superficial to deep is red, the red line to the black line, and it's not deep and superficial yet, but it will be when you pull it tight. So do I go black to... Yes, black to red. I think I said it backwards. Why is it Hold on to this. Mm. So before we tie that, we are just going to check and make sure that our deep loop and our deep leg are inside of that little suture box that we had. So we're not going to tie over this one right here or that one there. And so we have a loop and a leg that are together and they're not going to be tied over anything. So when you're building this deep loop, you want to make sure the bites that are out here that um, deep to superficial, superficial to deep are wide because then it helps you to make a deeper pocket because there's no incision anymore. So it looks like that was a wide enough bite. So then you'll do four throws again. And usually you can get away with just a square knot throw. Unless it's under tension, then you can use a surgeon's. And you're gonna pull up and down with the incision and that's gonna help it drop into the pocket that you just created. And that is how you bury a knot on the beginning and the end with a limbert.